She brings it every time she needs the bedtime. Ah. Oh. Do you rag and bone eggs ever heard of dignity? Will you still be laughing when we get our fundraising activity badge? Yeah. All right. Hey. Hey. Jeggings. You do know we're collecting for the same cause. <laughs> You're disgusting. Officially deputy head. And we're making a few changes right here. Mm. Surprise. Yeah. Is it? I saw you looking at it online. It's like lasagna, like, right? Yes, so thank you. I've been wanting it for ages, but this stuff is so expensive. It's custom. One of a kind. I bet. It's the right one, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely. Definitely. Good. See you later. Thanks again. Very sweet of you. Is it supposed to look like that? Did you spill chemicals all over it? You're not actually going to wear it, are you? Only, it makes me feel a bit sick. My nan's got a cardigan like this. Her chihuahua used it as a bed. It was a gift. I was going to hang it up here. I know what a goalpost looks like, boy. I'm not an idiot. This is a jumper. Now put it on! Actually lost it. He's like that now. What's he going to be like when he's deputy head? Bell cannot get that job. I reckon you could get the geek to go for it? You need to boost his confidence. Massage his ego. Convince Mr. Harris he's the right man for the job. You mean, get inside his head? Puff the man up? Yeah, yeah exactly. Textbook psychology. Yeah, right. Seriously, Dex. You'd be an awesome deputy. You're already the best music teacher in the school. I'm the only music teacher. When they've got one as good as you, they don't need no others. You could really turn Elsmere around. Why do you care so much? Sometimes you just got to take a leap of faith. I believe in you. The beauty head, eh? It's got a nice ring to it. I could bring a bit of musical influence. End all cruelty. Bring more unity. Instead of the tension, kids learn to play keys fluently. That will get them on my side. They can't say that's unfair. If I play my cards right, I might get an armchair. One that spins around with a cat in my arms. Yeah, I could be the big boss. I'd be an awesome one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need a black. If Bell gets in charge, can't even lie. That's the end of any kind of fun in school. If Dex gets it, it'll be wonderful. Cause Bell's just a monster and I'm under all the shirts, blazes and tights. It's a dark kind of law that frees out fun. The cool slow cap. Every single kid trying to run from school. They take away lunch, no nourishment. I bring back hope, no punishment. I just want a lame old teacher. I don't want to, I don't want to slip one either. Have a few fight and it ain't no clean up. Dex is tame, we can do what we want. Short on the school day, cancel the homework. Kids that are white for teaching the grown up. They don't know that I'm in charge. Little do they know that I'm in charge. I'll soon show that I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. No, they don't know that I'm in charge. Do they know that I'm in charge? I'll soon show that I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. If I get this position, it would mean better living. Change my life for the better, like start a family with Lizzie. That is what I envision. To afford a big kitchen, have a family meal. I would be a good parent. That is making decisions, of course. Yes, I've got to take a chance. Confidence can take you far. Be responsible. Man up and take charge. Man up and take charge. Man up and take. Man up and take charge. 
All right, I'll do it. I'll apply for the deputy editor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, look, I'm happy because you're going to be mint in it. Julie, please. Eli. Except it is. But you won't admit it's one because you can't handle a proper one. Okay. See you later then. Right, here's the deal. We take everything we collected today down to the charity shop and tomorrow we start from scratch. Whoever collects the most by the end of the day is the winner. Happy? Bring it on. You sure you don't want any? Johnson, could you ask that man to pass me the salt, please? Don't Brisbane, this is silly. Johnson, could you tell him that I am going to eat this in the lounge so that I don't have to look at his backstabbing, traitorous face? Get that. Maybe I shouldn't reply for the joke. Listen, you're the best candidate and you know it. <laughs> To know that you're a well-rounded person. Um, everything is relevant. Stamp connecting. Shows that you're organised and focused and good with boring, repetitive. Let's forget about stamp collecting. Oh, Mrs. Gooden also wants ten ideas to improve Elmsmere. Okay. Okay. Off you go then. First things come to mind. Um. Paint the main gates a different colour. No. New blinds in the staff room. No. Nicer. Uh, Doors? Oh, this isn't working. It's because you're thinking small. You just need to think bigger. Come up with mad ideas and, you know, fire up your brain. OK. How about replace history with live historical reenactments? Yes. Bordeaux's the playground. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, turn it into a battlefield. That's excellent. And bring in tanks. That's it. That's it. You need to come up with the most insane, craziest, maddest ideas. And then write them all down. Throw them away and work back at your nets. You know, if I get this job, we should go out and celebrate. That would be nice. You could even wear your new cardi. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That's just ideas for improving Elmsmere. Okay. Ready to go? Yes. My mother's travel scales. Pinpoint accurate. She's never paid for excess baggage in her life. <laughs> and I have got my secret weapon. More lollies. Better lollies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Owen. If I've got the heaviest bag at the weigh-in, do you think they'll make me patrol leader?
This is charity, all for one and one for all. Everybody's in for the same cause, to help others. It's not about ourselves, but Eli's made it a competition now. Can't he see? It's not all about winning. I'm going to beat him, so he learns the lesson. I'd only be doing it to save the world from Eli when he shows off to get with the girls. And how dare he say he's above me in the scouts' ranks. I'm a super scout, tons of thousands, and I'll stop him from winning, won't fumble. There's no rules in the law of the jungle. Yeah. Scavengers, predators, there's no rules in this habitat ever, it's harsh because This is the law of the jungle There's winners, losers, there'll only be one winner, guess who it's This isn't about winning, it's about honour No one underestimates my scout power And the rest of the troops do too, but wait till I show them what I can do I'm a winner Yep, I win all day. I win when I'm asleep. I win when I'm awake. I'll get the most colds at the end of the day. And everyone will cheer when I do my parade. Because this is the law of the jungle. Scavengers, predators. There's no rules in this habitat ever. It's harsh because this is the law of the jungle. There's winners and losers. There'll only be one winner. Guess who? It's me. A posh Vintong shop. It costs actual money, and don't pretend you're not gel. I can see it in your stupid known face. Lies. I gave it to them boys, and you got it from the charity shop. Oh my actual days. Like I'd go to the charity shop and spend like five ninety nine on a dead person's cardigan. For my life, I hate you. Anyway, what I was thinking was, uh, no, it's gone. Thanks for sharing. Oi, Isaac, you got any old overalls? You'll have to be quick on that. Mm. We usually keep these for idiots who've forgotten their kit. You do know that I'm one of those idiots, don't you, sir? Yeah, obviously, idiot. Sir, how would you like to help the underprivileged? Too late! Here you go. Owen said to boost his confidence. Now Dexter thinks he can do no wrong. Tanks in the school. Robot guards. Aerial drone patrol. Chaining us to our desks. He doesn't actually think he can do all this, does he? We can't take that chance. We have to break his confidence. <laughs> I mean, I actually know less about music since taking a class. You're making us more stupid. I didn't realise you felt like this. What's going on here? We were just telling Dexter how much of a rubbish teacher he is. It's like being taught by a clown! Yeah, oh, all right, girls. Cut the man some slack, yeah? Have some respect. <sighs> hey, Dex. I made a mistake. What about? About you going for the deputy head job. You don't have respect. Maybe you're right. Um, I should probably tell Mrs. Goodman I'm um, withdrawing my application. Meditating with me, it would be just lovely. Um, Miss Goodman, could I have a word? Yes. I've uh, recently updated my CV and I've listed all my various skills and hobbies. Oh. Huh. I never knew you could ride a horse. <laughs> Or speak Italian. Molto bene. Whoa! I think you'll find my credentials stack up quite well against the other candidate. Ah, oh, well, there is no other candidate. I'm afraid Dex has just dropped out of the running. He has. So, we just need to watch you doing some teaching and then we'll sort out your new salary and perks. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to really defining my role. This new deputy head job. How much of a raise are we talking exactly? My new cards again. The one that Dexter got me. Have you seen it? 
Have you seen it? Oh, that well ugly one. I thought you hated it. It cost a fortune. It'll break his heart. Um, so, your sister breaks Dexter's heart, finds out it was your fault, then she breaks you. Is that about the size of things? These problems like a horrid bit of knitting that's all tied up in knots. I'm not kidding. That cardigan was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I couldn't think of something worse in a bad dream. I took it from the bin, it wasn't mine to give away. And then I had the cheek to swap it for a lolly. I'm sorry. Now Lizzie needs a back desk to bought it as a present and will think she hated it. If she's not got it around her shoulders, she'll say that's a wrap. And Lizzie Lesson. Well, yes, it's Cold War Britain, 1945 to 1951. One of my personal favourites. How would you feel about giving an impromptu Italian lesson? Do you want me to teach them Italian? Yes, well, since you speak it fluently. Uh, yes? Molto bene. Uh, ciao. Arrivederci. Mm, fantastico. Go to the library and get me a book on basic Italian now. Name? Eli Grant. You have an overdue book. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Oh, that book was rubbish. You put a lion in a wardrobe, right? You're going to make it angry. Do how many people that lion attacked? None. Two years overdue. There's a fine. Let me off a few pens, I'm in a hurry. Sixty-eight pound twenty-five. <laughs> what? What's this? Oh, she would only give me one basic Italian cookie. I need a language. Are you ready, Crispin? Yes. Just finalising my lesson plan. Italy, Rome, pasta, spaghetti. Who here knows any Italian words? Pizza. <laughs> Pizza. Mm -hmm. um, what about you? Uh, garlic bread. <laughs> and you? Sono nato in Italia. Ben all'italiano, signor Ben. I'm sorry? I was born in Sicily, sir. Well, 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 you can keep quiet. I'm not having any cheating in this lesson. Come, Baroni. Non sapevo che stavamo imparando l'italiano. Quiet, boy! <laughs> so, who can tell me the meaning of cannelloni del frutti di mela? Not you. <laughs> Certainly interesting. 
I was not for one. I'm the pressure to play. You have to give me a second chance. Who's set then, love? What's going on? Why are you dressed like that? Hasn't she told you? I've applied for the deputy head job. She's going to interview me. What time do you want me? No. <sighs> Deputy head. Normally I'd say he wouldn't stand a chance, but after that lesson. None would be a nightmare. Worse for the lot. He's not very nice, man. You've got to get Dexter to run for head again. Oh. Where'd you find that cardigan? And you're not find it, unless we bought it in a real shop. I thought it was one off. Can I have it? Have it? Uh no. That's not how stuff works, Mr. So called thingy. Alright. I'll buy it off you. How much do you want? 90. Well, that's more than I... You ain't the only one who's offering money for this, you know. It's like, well, in demand. No, Dexter. Um, what? You've got a run for Dexter Head. What's the point? No one respects me. You said it yourself. Look, I lied. You know, we only told you out of it because of that weird list you wrote. What weird list? Come on, the one about tanks and robots and drones. Oh, that list was just me and Lizzie messing about, as if I think those were good ideas. What? Uh, you really should run for it, then. Yeah. Come on, Dexter, you're the only option. I'm not applying for deputy head. Listen, Nero, forget it, Dexter. I don't know why I even bothered. You never do anything for me. Nero? Nero? <laughs> 6.5. Same as me. It's a draw, then. Anticlimax match. <laughs> yes, that makes me as good a scout as you. I've still got my honour. Yeah. And Owen has to go on the bus in his pants. <laughs> Isn't he? What have you done with it? With what, Miss? Why aren't you wearing proper school uniform? your prep yet? Right? Prep? Yeah, prep. Good woman wants ten good ideas for changing the school. You know what? Dexter surprisingly done some brilliant ones before he dropped out. Sorry about the smell. I didn't have a chance to shower after rugby. You're looking as lovely as ever, ladies. I do love a powerful woman. Women, both. We can talk money later. First, ideas. How about aerial drone patrols, robot guards and tanks, and that's just for starters. Boom! Unbelievable. Nero, I... Oh, Dexter! You haven't come to reapply, have you? Because, between us, the job is yours if you want it. Thank you, but... My hand's already full. Like I was telling Nero earlier, I'm his guardian. He comes first. Oh, well. Sorry I messed you about Dex, and by the way, thanks. You have to trust me, Nero. You're what matters to me the most, you and Lizzie. Yeah, uh, about that. Why are you destroying that? 
This isn't hers. This is another one. I can't have her thinking there's more than one. Dexter, about my card again. I have a confession. Soon. Still on for dinner? Well, congratulations, Deputy Head. I promise I won't let you down. Well, I've celebrated, I think. Mm, lovely. <laughs> I thought it was appropriate to come to my favourite little Italian, since you speak Italian. Lei parla italiano. Eccellente. Benvenuti, signora, signore. Posso offrire qualcosa da bere? Garlic bread. Can't live with them and you can't get them out. When you're up, they rub it in your face, kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Always gonna be around. Got a coming down. If you know so much about me, where do I go from here? You see him every day, we can never get.